And Shilpa Nair continues to be with us. Akshita Nand Gopal is also with us. Akshita, like, uh, we'll obviously not speculate as to what really went wrong. That's for the scientists to do. But the first word that we've really had from uh, Professor Kapoor, like you would have heard, is that uh, it's a good thing that they held it back. And that's the reason why the vehicle is safe, isn't it? Yeah, and you know, when I was listening to Dr. Kapoor, mm. uh, I completely agree with him that this is quite literally rocket science. It's not easy. Uh, but, you know, when you listen to what Dr. Sobhnath said, and now that I've had a chance to listen to it a second time around, what stood out for me is what he said about the automatic launch sequence. So there was a delay due to weather of 45 minutes, which is why it got pushed from ATM to 845. And then what happened? Uh, he says, and we were live on it also here on India Today, where we were showing the countdown from about 8.30, a 15-minute countdown. So it looked like everything was on track, that, you know, the weather had given way, uh, and we'd see a smooth uh, test flight actually take place. Five seconds before the actual launch, it was stopped. Now, it wasn't manually stopped. Let's be clear here that this is an automated launch sequence. What that means is essentially all of this is already put in uh, by the ISRO scientists, locked and loaded, essentially, and the computers take forward the entire launch sequence at this point. The countdown, all of that is automated. But the computer also, as soon as uh, it realized something was wrong, automatically stopped the launch, which is why even the ISRO scientists were all set for 8.45. They were in the control room. And then you saw on that screen there the word hold in red written and the time, uh, the timer, the stop clock uh, stopped at minus five seconds. And that tells you essentially uh, that, you know, the scientists started wondering what's gone wrong here. They've understood that at this point, it's the engine ignition. But now manually, considering that this was an automated launch sequence, Neha, manually, they're going to now figure out, get into the nitty gritties, understand exactly what went wrong here. So that is going to take a bit of time. Having said that, is this going to be any sort of setback? I'd say 100% not. It's better at this stage, if you ask me, than any other stage for this kind of an engine ignition failure to be identified, and also before the launch took place, as you pointed out. So because of that, the vehicle itself, the module itself, is completely safe. What they'll have to work on is figuring out whether there was a problem with the engine, what kind of a problem it was. And my guess is that maybe in a month or so, we could see this test run actually happening. Dr. Kapoor also told you that there are several such crucial test flights will happen in all before Mission Gaganyaan gets that go-ahead, gets that green signal, Sneha, which is expected sometime in 2024, you're going to see about 20 such test runs take place because this is new ground even for ISRO. They've never done a manned flight to space before. So this being new ground in every single way, they're taking double checks on every front as well. So that's why, you know, uh, we have to give that leeway for ISRO. And it's great what's happened here. I know many will say, oh my God, setback. It's not the case. What you're seeing here is a mission being aborted even before the test flight. So it means that our crew escape module system, which is perhaps the most integral, crucial part of Mission Gaganyan, because you think of it essentially as an emergency exit, that part is safe. And as far as the engine itself is concerned, that's something that they'll go back to the drawing board over. And you can expect very, very soon an update from Isro Sneha. Absolutely. This is, uh, you know, not a setback is uh, what we want to reiterate time again and again for our viewers. Because, uh, Akshita, there's been a lot of chatter and conversation online already about, you know, questions being raised as to what really went wrong. I mean, this is a test drive. And things were expected to go wrong sure. and not go according to the plan. And that really uh, is uh, okay. There is no sense of disappointment. This obviously is a learning lesson. It's, uh, it's a test mission. And it is to ensure that when we have, in fact, when we arrive at the final day of the Gaganyan mission, there is absolutely no room left for error. I'm going to thank you, Akshita, for joining us for the moment. And also my colleague uh, Shilpa Nair is uh, with us. I'm going to thank uh, Shilpa as well.